This new world is filled with riches. My attack begins here. I am about to bring the war to our foe. Follow my lead. No more native allies for our enemy after this attack. I shall destroy the enemy trading post here. We can fill the British Museum with samples of these new wonders. I want a base here. Soon it will teem with soldiers. I am going to build a town here. My next town centre is to be at this location. Native warriors are brave and resourceful. The native tribes will be good to have at our side. A brave land to hold such discoveries. Trade routes are the lifeblood of a nation. It is time to expand my trading empire. I am going to raid the enemy gatherers. I am sorrowful. I had to buy back my explorer from the enemy. Now they have the natives on their side. Well done. This should get you off to a quick start. See here? A town, but no army to protect it. This town has no ability to train infantry. This means our cavalry should meet with little opposition. Since this town does not have a stable, we should be safe sending in light troops and artillery to attack it. The enemy murdered my explorer. My explorer has been lost to the enemy. Wondrous. With such wealth, our cause surges forward. It is dangerous here on the frontier. Now my explorer has been incapacitated. You certainly do not waste time getting started, do you? My explorer has been hurt. I don't suppose you could spare a soldier or two to help him back into action? You have failed. I have successfully retrieved my explorer. You could not hold my crafty explorer for long. My explorer is back with me and as good as new. You seem to be a very efficient partner. Your native allies cannot save you. I didn't want that particular native town anyway. What do you think you are doing? Killing settlers violates all civilized laws of war. Stop chasing my settlers at once. You have fair warning. I warn you. Continue raiding my settlers and I shall respond in kind. You haven't gathered much treasure. I hope it's because you're building up a strong army somewhere. Your army may be massive, but my heart is pure, and my soldiers each fight with the strength of ten. You certainly have a lot of soldiers. I suspect this means you've skimped on equipping and training them. Hmm, nice large army. Let's see how it holds up in battle. Your army doesn't seem quite large enough to be a threat. I wonder what you plan to do with it. I see your force maneuvering in the wilderness. Perhaps it's worth my while to destroy it. It's rather rude to seize treasure so close to your ally's town. I expect better behavior from you. I doubt you dare attack me with an army that size. You'd better pick up your toys and scurry home. What a tiny army. Is this a trick of some kind? I imagine the reason your army is so small is that you'd hoped in vain that it would escape notice. You are causing me serious discomfort. I'm sure you won't mind me collecting treasure here. It's all for a good cause. Please, have mercy. Can we discuss a temporary ceasefire? Perhaps your troops could use a break from their labours. Your town is rather out on a limb, isn't it? Feeling standoffish, I see. Didn't want to be too near your smelly old neighbours. I can see your town now. My soldiers know where to head. Uh, my explorer needs some rest. I won't be making many discoveries for a while. Thank you for putting your town in such an obvious spot. It was easy to discover. You must be afraid of me. Your towns are so near to one another. You built so very, very near your ally. I wonder if it is some kind of strange plan or just a mistake. Did you forget something, like progressing in age? You certainly are quick to jump up in age. I suspect this indicates that your economy is lagging well behind mine. My exploration attempts are going to have to be on hold for a while. My explorer had a bit of a mishap. What took you so long to reach Colonial? Still in the discovery age. Haven't you discovered enough yet? How impolite. That treasure was clearly intended for me. Off to a good beginning. Alas, my explorer got caught in the open by enemies. And now I cannot gather treasures until he is back. You have scooped up so many treasures. What a fine fellow. I appreciate your letting me collect all the treasure, but I have enough. Really? 
You can get some now, if you like. A fine treasure indeed. I can't imagine why you hadn't gathered it already. You have done a good job with your colony so far, but not good enough. Now that you are so far advanced in age, your uniforms must seem fine indeed, but I doubt your fighting quality has improved. Your colony has not progressed to the next age yet. I hope it's because you're busy building a large army. I am impressed by your speed in advancing your colony, but not frightened. Your success in making discoveries may help console you when you have lost the war. I see you are wasting your time on penny-ante looting. A paltry treasure here or there makes no difference in the long run. You are so backward. What will your soldiers use to fight mine? Clubs? You progress at a remarkable rate. I trust you'll have enough troops to take advantage of your technology. You are so nice to choose to fight me while you are an age inferior. How sweet. Yes, you have reached colonial age first. I suppose I should congratulate you. So soon. I must marshal my forces. At last, you have joined the rest of us in the colonial age. You are colonial at last. How quaint. We are all moving on to the next age. That's a relief. I was wondering if you'd ever advance. Are you aware that it is possible to advance to the colonial age? Still back in the discovery age? How delightful. This wealth will go straight into my war chest. See how my explorer makes good use of his time? You can learn by my example. Every time I make such a lucrative discovery, it's one less find for you. Well done. It may be a moment before I can catch up with you. That's pretty bold of you, coming that near to my base. What daring! Stealing a treasure from under my very nose. You made the first find. Huh. Beginner's luck. Don't you realize that these paltry treasures don't count in the long run? You are good at exploring the wilderness, but other skills will be needed once the fighting begins in earnest. A fine show, my friend. Pray, use your new research advantage to hinder our common foe. You must have a lot of time on your hands to waste it gathering treasures. Can't you find anything? Perhaps it's because my gallant explorer has already gathered up all the treasures. I really appreciate your leaving all the treasure gathering to me. It's too kind. <laughs> I have stolen one of your treasures right from under your nose. Saving that treasure for later... Too late now. Soon you will have much more powerful troops than I. I will support you the best I can, of course. I feel bad about this, but I don't have enough resources to obey you. Sorry, I'm too poor to do that. I have not trained an army yet. Sorry, I don't have any troops. If I had a few more men, they would rush to your aid. I am curious, did your battle plan include advancing to the next age? I need to protect the few troops I have so far. Perhaps later I can assist you. I'm sorry, but that is impossible for me. My caissons will soon go rolling along. I like horses. And I'm glad you do, too. More footmen? The backbone of our army. Well, well. An enemy town left undefended. I thought you'd like to know. How nice to get a settler without having to pay for him or ship him from overseas. Don't let it go to your head. You can't get enough gold that way to win the war. Food? How nice for you. I see you've rescued a local. Wood is good. I have spotted an enemy town that doesn't even have a barracks. Our cavalry can run rampant. It's almost embarrassing to find nice things like a free settler. But I'll take it. Free money. Let me know if you need any of this food. Help from the natives. I feel blessed indeed. More lumber to build our towns. Here is an enemy town with no stable. Perhaps some artillery would be in order. Well, that was a close fight. It was touch and go there for a while. It was a near thing, but I've won. Actually, that fight was rather dull. No surprises there. Curse this wilderness. My explorer is down. The enemy don't seem to be trying their hardest. It is time to wall in. I need more defences. The enemy has four of a kind. We have to act fast. Uh-oh. We need to get our act together and quickly. They killed my explorer. 
Please teach them a lesson. Now all we have to do is sit back and wait for victory to fall into our laps. How sweet. Four of a kind. It's been so long since we got together, my friend. I see you have been successful in multiplayer. I've missed you. We really should fight on the same side more often. What happened? Your multiplayer score has plummeted. It feels so good to get my explorer back. Poor baby. I see you have been losing a lot in multiplayer. Your score is so much lower than before. It's been so long since our last encounter. Have you been seeing someone else? You are so much more powerful and impressive than last time we met. This should be fun. This map, again, we lost last time we were together. Let us learn from our mistakes. I have successfully brought my explorer back from the brink of death. Last time we were allied, we did not do so well. I'm sure we'll work together much better now. I have every confidence we will win today, just like we did the last time I was here at your side. I feel a little embarrassed about my performance last game. Thank you for taking another chance on me. I hope you're able to do better than our last experience together. I didn't have the heart to defeat you in our last game. I'm glad we're on the same side now. I am sure your troops were on the way, but I've managed to free my explorer myself. Thank you anyway. Remember when I crushed you last time? Ah, those were the days. How annoying. Now we have to start the countdown all over again. The enemy has already allied with the natives. The poor natives. They are being deluded by our enemy's lies. Now the foe has claimed a trade route. It seems like we are behind. You saved my explorer. Words cannot express my gratitude. The enemy has a trading post? Surely we can match him, tit for tat. They have more native allies than we do. Shouldn't we be doing something about that? The enemy is certainly obsessive about hoarding trading sites. I am proud to see what you are doing. More natives means more warriors available to us. I am glad to see we are keeping ahead in the trade race. You did what I could not. Rescued my explorer. Now we have the first native allies. Wonderful. We are the first to claim a trade route. You can relax now. The threat is ended. I have enlisted the help of the natives. They say England is a nation of shopkeepers. Well, those shops power a great economy, and this trading post will do the same for us. Thank you ever so much. My newly free explorer will work twice as hard to make up for lost time. See what I have done? Yet more natives to fight at our side. I am adding more trading posts to our string. We are in for a tougher fight than last time we met. This fight should be a lot less stressful than the last one. We are 60 seconds from losing. Shall we surrender now and spare ourselves the ignominy? Or make one last push to overthrow the enemies four of a kind? Sadly, I was forced to ransom my explorer. The enemy rejoices. We are 60 seconds from victory. Let us enjoy the final moments of this contest by watching our enemy writhe in the agonies of his failure. Just one minute before our triumph, my friend. It may be a bit premature, but let me congratulate on a game well fought. Ah! I need help right here, right now. I hate to bother you, but if you don't immediately send some troops to this point, I'm going to be in big trouble. Help is on the way. This is troubling. They are turning the natives against us. My forces are marching here as fast as they can. We are coming to back you up. No need to worry, my troops are on the way. Just hold out a little longer. I'm coming. We are coming to relieve your hard-fighting soldiers. This battle is off to an excellent start. To victory! I am proud to be your ally in this struggle. Excuse me, but I'm a little short of coin at the moment. Can you spare some? I am embarrassed to admit it, but I don't have enough coin to accomplish this task. Can you send me some? My people are hungry. Do you have any extra food? I have a food shortage. Can you spare some? So far, so good. I can't seem to cut down trees fast enough. Please send me some wood, if you can. I need you to give me some wood, dear. Thanks so much. I couldn't have held out much longer. I really appreciate the help you gave me back there. My gratitude for the aid you rendered my base. I do not see how they can stop us now. 
My royal thanks for helping me win this victory. We could never have won this fight without your timely aid. This team-up may have won us the war. Thank you ever so much for the coin. We give thanks for all the resources. This town needs a British flag. Would you agree? This food is great. It really hits the spot. Now I can build what I need. I think you were bitten off more than you can chew, my friend. Perhaps a strategic withdrawal is in order. This fight is too much for you. Pull back for now and return when you are stronger. Send in more cannon and field pieces, my friend. I believe that would bring victory. It's time to take the war to the foe, right about here. You seem to have a shortage of cannon and shot. Perhaps if you had more artillery, you would do better. Ride them down. Oh, wait. You don't have enough cavalry. Perhaps you should rectify that error. If only we had access to more cavalry, I think we could defeat them. We cannot stand up to the enemy unless we get more infantry into the fight. See what the foe is sending against us. We could defeat them if only we had more infantry. I plan to assault the main enemy base. Can you help? So, read any good books lately? War. A series of catastrophes which result in peace. You can see civilization advancing. In every war, you get killed in a new way. Have at you. Take that. I have commanded my armies to attack here. Surprise. An extra settler or two can do you no real good. A few driblets of coin here and there will not change the outcome. A bit of extra food can't help you. My troops are going to target enemy settlers around the map. One warrior, more or less, does not make an army. Wood? What can you do with that? My empire grows more quickly than ever. Ah, riches. Food just seems to drop out of the trees for me. This trade site needs new management. Even the natives want to join my side. I guess they sense who is likelier to win. It's nice to get wood, without all that lumberjack labor. As I expected, the victory is mine. To the victor belong the spoils. What a disaster. You are a tough opponent. Ouch. Perhaps you could go easier on me next time. You have been practicing. Your rating has jumped up since last we met. You poor soul. I see your multiplayer score has dropped. Should I take it easy on you this time around? It seems like weeks since last we met. This same map, again? It is time to expand my trading empire. Couldn't you take the pressure? I see you've tilted the odds more in your favor this game. You are brave to face more enemies than your last game. The fight is not over yet. Your stupid timer does not mean we are tossing in the towel. All those trading posts. Which one shall I destroy first? I am constructing a military base here. These natives shall be useful allies. Ha <laughs> ha! Now you'll have to start over again. You didn't need those particular natives, did you? Down with the usurper! I mean you, of course. Great Britain feels it necessary to inform you that your trading post is no more. <laughs> I got the first trade site. Victory is assured. Those walls are so decorative. I hope you don't think they'll be practical as well. I like the way your walls look. I'll be careful only to poke a few holes in them. You certainly are quick to claim the natives. Afraid I'd get there first? You already need a trading post. Mismanaged something early on, did you? I need a town center here. What did those hapless natives ever do to you? Aren't you supposed to be fighting soldiers, not mere trading sites? I wish you'd stop trespassing on my property. Look, now you've broken it. Well... It was fun while it lasted. You have given me a higher difficulty rating. This time I should put up a real challenge for you. That's one less enemy town befouling the landscape. Even at this new lower difficulty rating, I trust I will be able to put up a good fight for you. Hear that? The clock is ticking now. Just a few short minutes and you lose. It seems there is nothing I can do to keep you from winning. But there is still a little time for me to take action. Look at the timer. Tick, tick, tick. 
the countdown to doom. That town was better defended than I had hoped. That treasure is now mine, by right of armed conquest. How adorable. You have sent soldiers to try to invade my town. I can see your army wandering about aimlessly. I can see your explorer now. These are dark times. I regret the necessity of annihilating you. So far we are victorious. The enemy base is destroyed. You can save your men's lives by giving up now. It seems I have the upper edge on you. How nice. I must say it is a pleasure to see your soldiers take to their heels. Look at the size of this fight. Everyone wants to get in on the action. Feeling standoffish? I notice the new walls around your base. The enemy base still stands. He is a tenacious fellow. Do you think they're going to try to raid us? I see your walls. Those false British are just about out of the door. Your troops plus my loyalists have shown them up, as we should have expected. The British are stout opponents. Luckily, you have some British on your side as well. I have fought tougher Dutch than these before. These just seem to cave right in when we attack. It is exceedingly irritating that the Dutch are so stubborn. The natives are free once again. The Germans cannot stand up to my fine lobsterbacks. What can we do about the Germans? The Ottomans are nearly dead. It's like a new crusade, except this time we get to win. It is like the crusades all over again. Once more the Ottomans seem to be winning. I believe the Portuguese have been put paid to. I'll have to liberate those natives later. The Portuguese are a real problem. Do you have any suggestions for how to deal with them? Well, at least the Spanish are practically down for the count. The Spanish are proving to be redoubtable foemen. I hope you can see the way to overcome their might. Emergency! The enemy is hitting me hard. Who knew the Dutch would prove so strong? That's one less trade site for our enemies. We might lose, but the Dutch are as weak as we. The German army is old-fashioned and out of date. Let us destroy them before we ourselves are destroyed. I did what I could, but it was not enough to enable us to win. Your weaknesses have brought about my downfall. The Ottoman infidel has proved too much for us to handle. Perhaps I should send a bigger army next time I attack a trading post. The Turks are the most vulnerable enemy we have. Let us see if they can be destroyed before we are. In past decades, Portugal had often proved a powerful ally to England. Sadly, it seems that Portugal is equally powerful as a foe. Even though we're the underdogs in this fight, I think we can at least take the Portuguese down with us. It certainly looks like the Spanish are going to have their vengeance for our sinking their armada back in 1588. Things look bad. But the Spanish house seems rather rotten, if you get my meaning. Let us kick in their doors. My troop shall defend this location. Curses. Now another of them has joined the fray. We need more troops to counter them. We kill them and kill them, and yet more keep coming. What can we do? Excellent. You have gathered your troops together so we can destroy them all at once. How thoughtful. We gathered our troops together here specifically in hopes that you would gather yours together to face us. Thank you for obliging us. We make a good team, my friend. Let us march forward arm in arm to our certain triumph. This building shall be protected. All is well at this time. We must still be vigilant, but I believe the outcome of this war will be favorable. Well, the enemy is slipping behind. You have been of some assistance, at least. The foe is almost beaten. It is safe for you to start fighting now. I think this war has turned in our favor, thanks to you. Your strength has carried this alliance. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. My armies shall defend this native village. You may have forgotten about me, but I have not forgotten about you. Thank you for the respite from combat. I can use this extra time to prepare for your defeat. Are you trying to hide? I see no signs of life. That's hardly cricket, is it, teaming up against me? It takes two of you to defeat me. What kind of soldier are you, anyway? This trading post shall not fall. Now you see our true power. We fight as a team, my ally and I. You cannot stop us both. You thought you had me, didn't you? Admit it. 
You didn't reckon on reinforcements. Excellent. You have gathered your troops together so we can destroy them all at once. How thoughtful. We gathered our troops here specifically in hope that you would gather yours together to face us. Thank you for obliging us. Perhaps I can at least retrieve some dignity out of this debacle. Kind sir, will you accept my surrender? This town is worth defending. Alas, I am undone forthwith. Will you let me resign, or must I fight it out to the bitter end? Nothing I can do can save my town now. I am doomed. There is nothing but surrender left to me. Will you accept it? I shall supply you with the finest in British cuisine. I shall supply you with shipments of wood. I shall deliver an endless stream of coin to you. Here is some food. Eat it in good health. Here is some wood. Compliments of the British Empire. Here is some coin. Spend it wisely. It has been a noble fight, but I think we should cut our losses to fight again some day. Would you agree? Well, we can't win every battle. Perhaps next time we will be the victor. Shall we resign? I'll follow your lead. Things certainly aren't looking up. Don't you think we should surrender while we can? This is absurd. We are wasting our energy. It is time to admit defeat. I am sorry, but that is just not possible. With all due respect, I am not allowed to do that. I would love to, but I cannot afford to comply with your request. I would comply immediately if only I had enough troops. I have no army, so I cannot comply. As you wish. By your command. I hasten to obey. I shall train more cavalry. I shall expand my infantry. I shall manufacture artillery units. I shall make cavalry and some infantry. I shall make cavalry and build a few artillery units. My line of infantry should be able to hold off anything they throw at us, with a few cannon to support them. I shall produce infantry alongside the best cavalry I can train. I shall manufacture artillery units and add some cavalry to protect them. I shall manufacture artillery units and protect them with infantry. We seem to be in command of the situation. We seem to be winning, and you deserve the credit. We seem to be winning in spite of your failures. I expect the French will resign soon. Looks like the Russians won't be in it much longer. I think we're winning, but the French might still cause us some problems. I'm sure we will win, but the Russians will offer some spirited resistance. I fear I may have doomed us to failure, despite your stellar performance. Your weaknesses have brought about my downfall. We may be losing, but I think we can take France down with us. We are beset with difficulties. Let us at least destroy the Russians before we go down to defeat. The enemy British have proven stronger than me, I fear. The situation looks bad, but I may see a way out. The enemy British are their weak link. Shall we strike? I hate to admit it, but the French may prevail. These are difficult times, my friend. Perhaps Russia is the nation of the future. If we cannot attack their trading posts now, perhaps it is time we consider getting our house in order. We are 60 seconds from losing. Shall we surrender now and spare ourselves the ignominy, or shall we make one last push to overthrow the enemy's trade monopoly? We shall win a glorious victory, if only this timer would hurry up. We are 60 seconds from victory. Let us enjoy the final moments of this contest by watching our enemy writhe in the agonies of his failure. Just one minute before our triumph, my friend. It may be a bit premature, but let me congratulate on a game well fought. It seems there is nothing I can do to keep you from winning, but there is still a little time for me to take action. Put away that bunting. I haven't given up yet. That clock does not scare me. We still have some time. Tick tock. Hurry now, but not too much. Haste makes waste. Oh my, we are close to victory, aren't we? <laughs> Rule Britannia, Britannia dum de dum. How annoying. Now we have to start the countdown all over again. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Ha <laughs> ha! Now you will have to start over again. Take that. And expect it again. Just as good. There. Now we can have a stand-up fight. I will not tolerate any more of your tricks. The enemy has a trade monopoly. We have to act fast. Oh no. 
We'll need to get our act together, and quickly. Look sharp now, we have work to do. Let us be about it. How sweet, a trade monopoly. Now all we have to do is sit back and wait for victory to fall into our laps. Time brings victory to the patient. Would you join me for tea? The fight is not over yet. Your timer does not mean we are finished. Oh dear. Now I suppose I shall have to send my armies to annihilate you. And we were having such fun. My lobsterbacks know just how to deal with your trading posts. Hear that? The clock is ticking now. Just a few short minutes and you lose. Oh dear, what is that I hear? Why, it's... it's your defeat approaching. Tick, tick, tick. Look at the timer. Tick, tick, tick. The countdown to doom. The Aztecs do build lovely cities. Too bad they will soon lie in ruins. A gallant fight from the Iroquois. I am almost sad to see them defeated. Almost. The Sioux will soon be defeated. More's the pity. The Aztecs are arrayed in their finest regalia. A fearsome sight indeed. The Iroquois are strong and growing stronger. Though we may not understand their ways, we should not underestimate the Sioux. I never thought to see any stand against our alliance. Alas, the Aztecs not only stand, they tower. The Iroquois cannot be stopped, I fear. I'm afraid the Sioux are going to be our undoing. The Aztecs are close to defeat. Let us make one last grand rally and take them with us. The Iroquois cling to a thin thread. Perhaps we can cut it before we are defeated. With our last breath, let us take battle to the flagging Sioux. We must make a move soon. Our enemy is about to win. If we just hold on, there is little hope for our foe. It has been a pleasure battling you. I am saddened that you will win in this ignoble manner. I admit defeat, but I do not admit your winning in this manner was noble. A true commander would have flattened my empire. I predict another great victory for my empire as a result of my achieving this monopoly. My brilliance has prevailed. Instead of crushing your town, I found another way to win. This is outrageous. How could my trade monopoly have been lost? My trade monopoly has been lost. Your precious trade monopoly has been taken from you. Your trade monopoly has been defeated. You'll have to fight like a soldier now. Your attempt to claim this trade monopoly frightens me no more than the neighing of a horse. I perceive you hope to win with a trade monopoly, but of course you will fail. It is a great and noble pleasure to discover that you have just claimed a trade monopoly. Excellent news, my ally. Our path to victory with a trade monopoly has begun. You will be forced to defend multiple locations now that you have claimed a trade monopoly. But he who defends everything defends nothing. Do you think this trade monopoly you have begun can lead you to victory? My army has other ideas. Truth is always the strongest argument, and the truth here is that I have just claimed a trade monopoly. The trade monopoly timer has begun. It will not be long until yet another victory belongs to us. Our Aztec foes must submit to a painful truth. They are almost defeated. Our Sioux enemy is nearly defeated. I see that our Iroquois foes are close to finished. Our Aztec enemies are much more powerful than our European sensibilities had guessed they would be. How is it that the Sioux are so powerful? We have found a mighty adversary in the Iroquois. Our mighty armies are being routed. It is the ferocity of the Aztecs that is taking us apart. We are humbled on two accounts. First, we are losing. Second, the Sioux are mightier than are we. How could these Iroquois be so powerful? Our team is losing badly. The grim truth is that our alliance is failing. Let us take the Aztecs down with us before we fall. We are losing this war. 
but we can still take the Sioux with us. Our team will be defeated soon, but we can destroy the Iroquois before we go. Alas, we have all but lost. I regret I was not a more useful ally to you. In a minute, it will all be over. Next time, I will apply myself more effectively. <laughs> you fought magnificently. Victory will be ours in moments. Prepare to celebrate. In one minute, we will have won. Your sovereign remedy for this battle is to field more artillery units. I suggest you construct additional artillery units. I recommend you bring more cavalry to bear in this battle at once. Cavalry, Commander. You need more cavalry in that fight. Your forces in this battle need more infantry units. If you field more infantry for that battle, you'll fare better. He who defends everything defends nothing. I strongly suggest retreat. Unless you want to lose every soldier in that army, I recommend you retreat now. The clash of several armies shatters the lands. Guard against a decisive blow. Troops from several armies fight here. We must coordinate our efforts to wrench victory from this chaos. To defeat you, I applied one of my most fundamental principles. I attacked briskly and with good order, always endeavoring to gain ground. It has been my military tradition to win. Yours is shaping up to be defeated. The outcome of that battle has left me speechless. However, the outcome of the war will speak of my victory. That battle was not one I care to have the history books learn about. My bold attitude alone would have been enough to win that battle. I presume you foresaw the outcome of that battle as plainly as I did. Victory! I am pleased with the outcome of that fight after all. In the battle at hand, our enemy shall feel the imposition of my heel upon his face. My reputation alone would be enough to rout their army in this fight. Your arrival was timely. The battle is turning in our favor. I have to admit, I am very glad you have arrived. Alert, my ally. An additional opponent has joined the fray, and our prospects for victory here fade quickly. The battle is going against us. This will be a bitter conflict. The enemy's numbers have increased. We now face another foe as well. Of course. Yes, your request is exactly what I would have suggested. Not an issue. I'll comply. Yes. Construction of artillery to commence. Request to train artillery acknowledged. Will do. Yes. Artillery lends dignity to what might otherwise be a vulgar brawl. Agree. Great guns are the most respectable argument. Artillery units and cavalry support shall be provided. Artillery units are an outstanding option. I'll train cavalry units as well. Agreed. Artillery and infantry support troops shall be provided. Yes, artillery and infantry units on their way. At once. You need additional cavalry, and I will supply them. Cavalry units shall be trained and fielded at once. Cavalry units shall be provided, along with some artillery. I shall create some cavalry and artillery. Use them wisely. Without essential cavalry and foot soldiers, an army is nothing. I will provide both for you as requested. My infantry and cavalry units are on their way. I agree with your recommendation. Infantry presence on the battlefield will be increased. Yes, I'll recruit more infantry units. Strategically sound. I can agree to train more infantry and a few artillery units as well. I will. Infantry and supporting artillery are vital elements in a conquering army. I concur. Infantry and cavalry shall be added to my army. Well-trained foot soldiers and elite cavalry units will be fielded. Without supplies, no army is brave. I will not leave my troops cowering, so I must deny your request for resources. I cannot comply at the moment. I cannot spare the resources. I can spare advice, but not resources. To that request, I cannot concur. I cannot comply. No. My priorities are elsewhere at the moment. There is no way I can do that at this time. There will be no push of bayonets from me. I have no army. My empire has no army at the moment. As soon as I have trained sufficient forces, I can assist you. At present, I have none. My soldiers are not ready to enter battle. That request is beyond even me. No, I am afraid that is not something I can do. That won't be possible. I have determined that is impossible. My army is of insufficient size to comply. Write to me again after I have actually assembled an army. Our enemy has destroyed one of our trading posts, but this war is far from over. We almost conquered them unconventionally. We'll just have to do it the ordinary way this time.
For a moment there, it looked like we might defeat them that way. Our enemy managed to stop our monopoly. We'll just have to conquer them another way. Our British opponent is nearly routed. Perhaps they will be able to construct a raft from broken muskets on which to sail home to their frail island. It looks like we've taken the pluck out of plucky little Britain. The British era of conquest and colonization is over. Although the British have all but lost this battle, at least they have their soggy little rock to swim home to. Our Dutch foe is about to fall. They will soon be forced to return in shame to the lagoon they call a country. Plainly, the Dutch are about to collapse under our onslaught. All they will have left to be proud of are their wooden shoes. If the Dutch had spent less time doting over their tulips and more time training their soldiers, they might have had a chance. The Dutch really should focus on building windmills. Clearly, they know very little about warfare. It is all but over for the French. The French may have been fearsome at one time, but after this battle, I'd suggest they just stay in the kitchen. The French used to be dangerous. At this point, I'd only call them frightful. Some dominating military power the French have turned out to be. Their croissants would probably put up more of a fight. Our German opponent has all but lost. Our German foe has nearly been defeated. They should hang their heads in shame. Since I was not leading their armies, it does not surprise me to see our German enemy is nearly defeated. The Ottoman foe is almost defeated. The Ottomans are almost destroyed. I hope they have some camels left to ride home on. It looks like the Ottomans have run out of tricks. I wonder if they will try to sell some of their cannon at a yard sale. The Ottomans have just about run out of gunpowder. And everything else. Our Portuguese opponent has almost fallen. The Portuguese have been nearly beaten. It looks like the Portuguese have just about had it. They should probably just stick with fishing. Our armies have just about rolled our Portuguese foe. The Russians were worthy opponents. But they have all but lost this war. I thought we would never see an end to the Russian soldiers. But that well has just about dried up now. The Russians kept on coming. But now they are just doing a lot of dying. You would think that with a motherland the size of Russia's, that they could maintain a serious attack. But it looks like they are close to defeat. The Spanish are about to concede defeat, I would wager. It looks like the Spanish have had it with fighting. The Spanish are good at fighting bulls, but it looks like they have some things to learn about fighting men. The Spanish were worthy foes, but we've pounded the fight out of them. I never underestimate a foe, but I am surprised at the tenacity of our British opponent. The British are putting up a remarkable fight, even if they do live on a wet rock in the middle of the sea. I don't know how the British can be fighting so well. Didn't anyone tell them they were not allowed off their little island? The Dutch always surprise me. A land of flowers and windmills, yet they challenge even such as I. Don't the Dutch have anything better to do than fight in the New World? Although I must say they are doing it very well. Our French enemy is showing exceptional resolve in this conflict. Whoever is commanding the French knows what he or she is doing. The French are fighting as fiercely as my own troops. We must be wary of him. I do not want to believe it, but I must accept the fact. The French are a potent force in this conflict. The Germans are never to be trifled with. But this opponent is exceptional. The enemy Germans are fighting like they were commanded by me. I don't like it. If we do not defeat the Ottomans quickly, we may find them knocking at our own doors. Our Ottoman foe is potent. We'll have to deal with him very carefully. Our Portuguese opponent is mighty. We'll have to apply all of my strategic brilliance to defeat them. We cannot underestimate the Portuguese. At least we had better not. Where the Portuguese are concerned, I do not feel so bold. They are worthy foes. The Russians are fighting with a ferocity I might not have expected from them. They are truly dangerous. Whoever is leading the Russians is impressing even me. We must be careful. We must not underestimate our Spanish opponent. They are demonstrating great resolve. The Spanish are strong. 
We must handle them carefully. Although I never doubt our eventual victory, I can see that the Spanish are not going to take our conquest lying down. The Spanish seem to have a military answer for every action we take. This may not be as easy as I thought. You have advanced long before I have chosen to. But do not fire until you see the whites of their eyes. You are wise to advance your colony. Use the new technologies it affords you to decimate our foes. You are ahead of me, my ally. I will endeavor to catch up. Observe. They have captured the cooperation of some natives. They have built a trading post at a native village. Let us make it a point to destroy it as soon as possible. I admire unusual strategies, but I am at a loss to know what strategy delaying your age advancement could belong to. You are still in the discovery age. Surely you will want an army when our enemy comes to visit. It is difficult to defend one's town while in the discovery age. Perhaps it is time to advance. To do that which your enemy least expects is brilliant, but I don't know if choosing not to advance to the next age would fall under that category. I suggest you follow my lead and advance to the next age as soon as possible. Exploring the new world is fine, but if you do not advance to the next age soon, you may find your explorer fighting the enemy single-handed. Remarkable work. Continue to use your resources as wisely as I do, and we shall be assured victory. Excellent. You have reached the colonial age quickly. Your advancement to the next age is an inspiration to my men. Although I advanced an age before you, I expect your assistance in this war may still contribute to our eventual victory. Do not be discouraged by your slow progress to the colonial age. Not everyone is Frederick the Great. Even though you have reached the colonial age last, you may still fight by my side. To express my gratitude for rescuing our explorer, I shall have a new sapling planted in the Black Forest. My troops have destroyed a trading post. We are no longer threatened by defeat in that manner. The natives in this realm have been freed by my decisive action. This opponent has lost a town to my army. Unfortunate for him, but only to be expected. Not surprisingly, I have destroyed another enemy building, in this case on a trade site. I tried to free those natives, but was waylaid. The enemy town was not raised by my forces. I may need a new stratagem. I regret to inform you that my assault on that trading post failed. My explorer is down, and therefore cannot gather treasures. We may have to increase our efforts in other areas until he is rescued. The new world holds a variety of dangers. My explorer has fallen, even though off the battlefield. In the face of this storm, I believe we have met our match. Request military assistance here immediately. Alert, my ally. Enemy forces are at my gates. Bayonets are at our throats. I need assistance in my town now. Request to bring your army to the aid of my town at once. Your presence lends a dignity to our alliance. It shall be an honor to fight by your side. Together we shall present a terrifying sight to our enemy's gaze. For this alliance, I predict only victory and glory. Our alliance in this conflict will clearly result in the destruction of our foes. Together, we will present a storm of destruction for our enemies. Ah, the challenge is increasing. It approaches a level worthy of my genius. The challenge has been reduced. One hemisphere of my superior brain can take a vacation and we will still be triumphant. As a foe, you earned my respect. I trust you will display similar talent as my ally. You showed exceptional promise in our last battle. Together, our combined brilliance will vanquish any enemy. Although you had little hope of defeating me in our prior encounter, as an ally, you now have an opportunity to observe my genius directly. This time, remember this, if nothing else. He who defends everything, defends nothing. I see fate has thrown us again into the same territory of the new world. Perhaps this time we should make this agreement. You are to request what you please, and I am to do what I please. As in our previous victory, no matter the outcome, I will continue to think, live, and die as a king. I elected to ransom my explorer. 
Not surprisingly, the enemy was unable to stop me from rescuing my explorer. I have gained visibility to an enemy base. Can you comprehend that there is no army defending it? One of our enemy's bases has no barracks. Be informed that an enemy town is devoid of a stable. I expect this coin to be used prudently. Take this food and make sure each soldier gets some. Some of this wood comes from the Black Forest, but all of it is useful to our cause. I've given the order to attack here. Our enemy's economy is a weak point, so I intend to raid settlers now. I have issued the command to attack the main town immediately. These natives will be grateful to ally with us after I free them from our enemies. My forces are on their way to attack this trading post. Continue your assault. I have sent troops to assist you against the trading post. This is a strategic place for a military base. I shall build one. A town center will be constructed here by my settlers. Note that I am pursuing the construction of a trading post at this native village. I know of a trading site that would be improved with a German flag over it. A regiment of my forces have been assigned to defend this building. Some of my forces will protect this location. These natives and their village are under my protection. It would be foolish to let this town fall, so I will not allow it. I refuse to relinquish this trading post to the enemy. Expect coin to flow steadily from my coffers into yours. I will continue to send you food and also sauerkraut. I will send a steady supply of food to you. Expect food to continue arriving from me. You need food to keep fighting, so I will keep sending it. Here is some wood. Expect continual shipments of more from me. My troops are on their way. Do not mistake my recent lack of correspondence as a lack of resolve to decimate our opponent. Please, tribute me coin for an immediate need I have. Request that you tribute me food. I have a request that you tribute me wood. Your contribution to that assault was bold and greatly appreciated. Thank you for the coin. I thank you for your tribute of food. My base may have been badly damaged if you had not come to my defense. The resources you tributed to my empire are greatly appreciated. The wood you sent me will be well used. Thank you. What a mighty foe the British have proven to be. The Dutch are overpowering us. The might of the French cannot be denied here. Whatever the Ottomans are doing, they are doing it well enough to hand us our hats. I do not know if we will be able to stand up to the Ottoman advance. The Portuguese have proven powerful adversaries. Things are looking dark for us. The Russians have been powerful foes in this battle. I fear, perhaps too powerful. What have the Spanish done to become so mighty? I doubt we will be able to stop them. Consider this. We are losing, but among our opponents, the weakest is the British. I perceive we may lose if we don't counterattack soon. I suggest the Dutch, who are clearly weaker. Although we fade, we must strike at their weakness, the French. As I am not leading them, our weakest foe is German. I suggest we strike at them before we are defeated ourselves. The war is going in their favor. Shall we strike their weakness, the Portuguese? If we don't attack the Russians soon, we may be defeated. I will not yield defeat willingly, but if we do not attack the Spanish soon, I may be forced to. You are a superb strategician. In this rare case, perhaps even better than I. I regret not having shared more of my superior capabilities with you during this battle. If I had, we might not be losing. Continue to thrust forward. Great guns are the most respectable argument of the rights of kings. Your great army and my superior intellect shall together vanquish our foes. As an ally, you have been useful in my conquering of the enemy. Things are not looking good for us, I fear. It does not take a military genius to see we've lost. There is no point in continuing this conflict. We have lost. Quickly, choose a trading post to attack and we will strike it together. The enemy has allied with some natives. A laughable plan at best. The enemy has overextended his position by claiming a trade site too early. The enemy has more native allies than we do. We should move to change that. Our foe seeks trade strength. Our military strength has a reply for that. 
Your alliance with the natives in this new world was bold. I like that. The trade route you are exploiting should serve us well, both in battle and after we claim victory. Impressive. You understand that even small advances can help in our quest for victory. A first small step toward triumph. You are wise to add to your supplies any way you can. Another small boost to your coffers. Soldiers cannot eat their boots. At least, not usually. Although you have collected more treasures than I have, my base has expanded boldly. You have proven yourself a collector. Hopefully next, a warrior. Where is the gain to our alliance? You're collecting treasures so close to my town. The treasures near my base should be left for my explorer. The native warriors you have befriended will give us an edge. Each settler you have working for you is an advantage our foes will rue. More wood for you means less wood for them. Excellent move. We now have more native allies than our foe. We move that much closer to controlling all trade in this area. Be certain you incorporate your walls into an overall strategy of offense. You will note I have allied with a native village in the New World. Another brilliant maneuver. My decisive action in claiming a trade site will help us achieve victory. A treasure has been claimed and secured by me. The New World has yielded coin for my coffers. It may not be sauerkraut, but it will help fill my soldiers' bellies. As the superior strategician, you'll appreciate that any treasure I gain helps us both. You are not exploiting the advantages of the New World effectively. Gather more treasures. Native warriors are welcome additions to my army. Another settler has elected to serve under the German flag. I can use wood. Even wood will have a small role to play in our eventual win. Thanks to my efforts, we have another native ally. I have claimed a trading site. I encourage you to increase your own contribution to our alliance. I am constructing walls to shelter my economy while my military expands. Our bold strategy may yet pay off. We now hold four of a kind. Do not let your reduced rating discourage you. After all, a crown is merely a hat that lets the rain in. Your increased rating indicates you are one to let your actions speak for you. At the rate you are gaining experience, the day may come in which I ask you for military advice myself. I admire a position that has conviction, but in less than one minute I will be the one convinced. I observe that in one minute I will lose this battle. You have my respect. It will all be over very soon, and I am forced to admit your superiority in this battle. Every warrior must accept defeat eventually, at least every warrior I meet. You should deem it an honor to have been defeated by me. In one minute, your cause will be utterly defeated. Several opponents engage at once here, but my soldiers are doubtlessly the best trained. There are soldiers from several armies fighting here. Another glorious fray. I'll begin by taking. Scholars later shall demonstrate my perfect right to have done so. As we face off before battle, I can only say I am grateful I am not you. I am called Frederick the Great. Can there be any question as to the outcome of this battle? The battle has only just engaged, but already your only reasonable options are retreat or surrender. My forces are dominant and my strategy superior. How can you defeat me? Great guns and the timely arrival of an ally are the most respectable arguments of the rights of kings. The battle is turning in my favor. My ally has arrived. Together we shall decimate your forces. Beware, my foe. My battalions are strengthened by my ally. Your ally saved you in this battle. I curse your luck. If not for your ally's arrival, I would have smashed your army in this battle. This battle is slipping from my grasp. It is only because your ally has arrived in time with reinforcements that you are winning this fight. Your skill in advancing is plain. How you will use that to your advantage is not. Likely not even to you. 
I see you have advanced to the next age. It's a pity you can't advance your military talents as easily. You have squandered your resources advancing to the next age so quickly. Nothing more. It is not that you have beat me in reaching a higher age. It is that I have displayed superior patience. Your decision to gain native allies was wise. How you will utilize them will no doubt be foolish. Losing that trading post was a setback, but no more. An effective commander utilizes all of the resources available to him. I assure you that that town center was only a small element of my arsenal. I suppose you think the loss of my town center will affect my military machine, but I assure you it will not. A town center may be the heart of a leader's base, but a wise commander, well, I suppose losing it stinks however I cut it. Curse it. My town center was the only decent source of bratwurst in the whole new world. That town center was essential to the gestalt of my base. You fool. The finest beer garden and lager on this whole continent were inside that town center. Flattening my town center has filled me with angst. The destruction of that trading post has served only to focus my attention on wiping your empire from the new world. A kindergartner could have seen that attack coming. Do you think destroying that trade site will lead to your victory? You probably also claim to see poltergeists. You are like a lammergeier, a cowardly vulture attacking my trade sites when I am not prepared to defend them. Are you waiting until I arrive with the army of the apocalypse before advancing to the colonial age? Do you plan to advance to the colonial age after your coffee clutch? Apparently, Oktoberfest will come and go before you reach the colonial age. My schnauzer could dog paddle to the new world faster than you advance through the ages. Your empire is advancing so slowly, you might have more luck if you sent settlers to the front lines with rakes. You are taking so long to advance. Perhaps you should just pack your whole town up in a wagon and send it back to the old world. It does not take an ubermensch to take an empire to the colonial age. Among all combatants, you have reached the colonial age first. Surely you do not expect that move alone to save you. Your quick advancement to the colonial age fills me with welchmers. If your strategy is to advance your empire as slowly as possible so as to weaken us with laughter, you are succeeding. Is your empire hitched to a slug? Your slow rise to the second age indicates you have little Vilsomacht. I see you have finally joined the rest of us in the colonial age. You are rather separated from your allies. Perhaps you better begin shouting for help now. Do you expect the poor placement of your town center to allow you more time to practice your harpsichord? It is helpful that your towns are closely packed. We will raise them all as one. Your towns are huddled together like frightened rabbits in a pen. I have destroyed a trading post and ended your attempt at an unusual victory. I enjoyed destroying that trading post even more than usual. That stops your rather pathetic effort to snatch victory from the approaching jaws of defeat. That trading post should not have been built on my continent anyway. Believe me, the natives will be much happier allying with my empire than yours. I hope you weren't going to use that town center. Don't feel too bad. Where your town center stood, I plan to construct a nice strudel stand. Your town center put up as mighty a fight as a she dachshund. I have crushed your town center just as I planned. Your town center has fallen, and the rest of your base will soon follow it. With your town center destroyed, I imagine you now feel a great wanderlust. I'm sorry I destroyed your town center. Well, no, not really. Perhaps you can build another town center. I could use some more practice destroying them. I removed the trading post you had carelessly built on my trading route. That trading post was obstructing my plans to conquer the new world. You didn't really need that trading post. Why did you build a trading post in the middle of my empire anyway? I tire of inept opposition. Bring your best, or just have your resignation delivered now. Greetings. 
Prepare to be destroyed. I am Frederick the Great. I cannot imagine why you dare to challenge me. This new world looks like it will make a good new Germany, don't you think? I can only hope you will not collapse before my assault as easily as my last foe. Note to my opponent, this land belongs to me. Welcome to the new world. My new world. I am not interested in fighting, only in winning. I toyed with war in the prior conflict. Now I will bring my full powers to bear. I am glad to see you expect a greater challenge this time. I assure you, I will bring one. It is good that you seek a great challenge. I have yet to find even a mild one. I grasp that you want more of a challenge. Too bad you will not also be grasping victory. I will give my brilliance a vacation. You will face only ordinary genius this time. I see you seek a less overwhelming match. I hope you won't mind if I eat some bratwurst while we do battle. I cannot fault you for seeking to reduce the challenge, considering your opponent is me. This battle should be a little easier to deal with. I'll tie one army behind my back. We do battle in the same region of the New World as our prior conflict. The odds are less stacked against you this time. I'll try not to punish you too severely. Although the odds are stacked in my favor, do not expect mercy from Frederick the Great. I am surprised to think you can defend against both me and an ally. I look forward to proving you very wrong. These odds are more like it. I'm going to enjoy paving over your town with my empire. These odds seem a bit extreme in my favor. No matter, I will show you again how war is fought. Odds are stacked against you. If this is the way you prefer to be destroyed, fine by me. You were careless. I rescued my explorer out from beneath your nose. My explorer has been rescued and tells me you are ripe to conquer. Your explorer has been spotted by my forces. Why don't you just hide him behind your town center? There is your first army. It is more pathetic than I expected. It doesn't surprise me that your soldiers appear to be lost. You may wish to round up your small wandering army before I do it for you. I see that squad of soldiers scouting for my base. I will write off a snippy letter to Voltaire if you persist. Take it from a true military genius. You should have brought a real army. Are your soldiers wandering near my town center because they like bratwurst? I can't imagine any other reason they would. Although I understand you're wanting to avoid my soldiers, you embarrass yourself attacking my civilians. Stop attacking my settlers. Don't make my settlers mad. You won't like them when they're mad. Somehow you've managed to mistake my settlers for my army. Kindly back off until my actual soldiers arrive. This large army of yours appears confused and leaderless. No, correction. I see it is being commanded by you. That's a large army you have assembled. Poorly trained and badly equipped, no doubt, but large. I advise moving the large army walking through my empire to the nearest rubbish heap, where they will feel more at home. Is that an army entering my area? I'm surprised you could convince that many soldiers to fight under your banner. I see you have sent a group of targets for my troops. What do you plan to do with that band of ruffians you call soldiers? Gather truffles? You were cruel to send those soldiers marching off to their doom. Why do you have a cluster of soldiers wandering around in the middle of nowhere? I suppose you might call that pathetic group of soldiers an army, but I wouldn't. Have you sent those soldiers into the wilderness to punish them? How did you assemble such a potent force? Your army is worthy of, well, me. Not good. Your army has lost its way. It should be back in your town defending it. If I were facing true military skill, I might actually be worried at this point. You may want to recover the small group of deserters fleeing through my empire. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that your army? I can only imagine those soldiers you have sent into the wilderness are trying to find their way home. 
Why do you have a tiny army doing nothing in the middle of nowhere? Do you call that a strategy? You appear to have some soldiers lost in my empire. Remove them before I am forced to. It is always a joy to discover my opponent's base. The anticipation of raising it comes more clearly into focus. I see your town center. You may want to take one last look at it yourself. I have spotted your town center. It will make a lovely crater. Is that your town center, I see? Nice of you to place it directly in the path of my conquering army. You wasted your ammunition. Everything in the new world belongs to me. That small fight is but a microcosm of the great battles and results to come. I am not surprised I took that treasure, but I am surprised you thought you might beat me to it. Another treasure for me, another beating for you. Would you like three guesses as to whose army is here? Ah, but you'll be too busy dying to play games. You will be overjoyed to hear that my exceptionally well-trained German army has arrived to fight you. I look forward to this battle, but my soldiers hunger for it. My troops have arrived. I pity yours. I have not heard from you in a while. I can only imagine you are spending your time knitting caps. Are you waiting to attack? Or are you just contemplating surrender? It has been so long since I've seen any activity from you, I imagine you may have forgotten we are at war. My army will be happy to remind you. Your empire is awfully quiet. Have your soldiers traded their weapons for hoes? Witness my mastery of the flute. Well, that and my skills in warfare, of course. My empire has been defeated. I offer my surrender. It does not take a genius to recognize I am defeated. I request to resign. You may have stopped me on one front, but there are other ways to win. I see you have taken the lead in recruiting native allies. Victory will still be mine. Gaining one more trading post will not make a difference. You will still be defeated. You have taken the lead on collecting trade sites, but I assure you, it will make no difference in the end. You have collected a new world treasure, but there is more to winning a war than that. Does finding goodies please you? Crushing empires pleases me. A few coins in your coffers will hardly improve your chances against my ravaging armies. Enjoy the food you just found. Soon enough, all you'll have to eat is sauerkraut. Your focus is on collecting treasures. Mine is on building an unstoppable military empire. That treasure belonged to me. I'll recover the slight by raising your town. I feel sorry for any natives you have fooled into joining you. Why don't you just send your new settler back to the old world, where it is safe? That wood you just found could be used to build a nice raft. Maybe you could try to escape my new world on it. Ah, walls. Like the crunchy outer coating to a delightful German chocolate. Would it interest you to learn that I have allied with natives of this new world? Perhaps not. You are still learning how to boil water. I have the first trading post. You, however, have, well, nothing significant at all. Another treasure on the new world is mine. One more treasure for me, one less for you. Fitting, really. A treasure has granted me more coin, as if I needed it. This food tastes good. You can be certain I won't be sharing it with you. Why did you leave a treasure unclaimed so near your town? It is mine now. Even I am slightly surprised that you have been so poor at collecting treasures. The natives are clearly more intelligent than you are. They are allying with me. Another settler has joined my empire. I am doing everything I can to reduce the time you suffer before you fall. More wood for me. I am gaining everything I need for a swift victory. While you gather alliances with natives, my empire prepares to build cannon. You may have found a foothold on the trading route, but will that really help you when my armies storm your empire? I admire your strategy. It won't bring you victory, but I admire it. I hope you remember how to get back to the old world. 
The new world will soon belong to me. Your rating has dropped precipitously. Think of our next confrontation as a clinic. In this battle, I will whip your hindquarters almost as hard as my father whipped mine when I dared to write poetry. How did you increase your rating that much? I can only assume bribery. I see that your rating has increased a great deal since last we met. It will be all the more enjoyable to flatten you. Your rating is higher, but your choices in battle will no doubt be just as predictable as before. How nice that you have increased your rating. On my side, I look forward to increasing my victory count by one. You have gained much experience since we met last, but I doubt you'll be able to apply it toward a victory. I suppose you are proud to have earned some more experience since we last met. It is the last you'll ever get. You have collected a lot more experience since we met last. I hope you will apply it to providing me with some small challenge. Ah, I see your experience has increased. Too bad you cannot buy military ability with it. It is time for us to pull our own forces together. If we don't, the enemy will win. We must hold the line for a few moments longer. If we can, we win. I look forward to battling you again when you are ready to fight, instead of building pathetic trade posts. You are about to win with your trade monopoly. I suppose you think this is a great achievement, uh, but it is not. I suppose you should send your army to the next war you fight. We are about to win this one with our trade monopoly alone. We are about to win this war, and it is all the more glorious because we will win with a trade monopoly. We have suffered a strategic blow. Our trade monopoly is no more. I have sad news. We have lost our trade monopoly. Your trade monopoly has been easily stopped by my army. Do you have any other ideas? It appears that your trade monopoly has crumbled into dust. How sad. Our enemy seeks to win with a trade monopoly. Needless to say, this effort will end in failure. Warning, my ally. Our enemy has just started the trade monopoly timer. We have started the trade monopoly timer. We need only defend it and win. I am glad to report that our trade monopoly timer has just begun. We will win soon enough. Your trade monopoly will crumble before my mighty soldiers. How do you expect your trade monopoly to stand before my armies? You will taste a new flavor of defeat soon. We have just started the monopoly timer. The trade monopoly timer has started, and it is not your monopoly, my enemy. It is almost the end for the Aztec war machine. The Iroquois are nearly dead. The Sioux were a worthy foe, but their time on this battlefield is just about over. I admit newfound respect for the mighty Aztec Empire. They are kicking our hindquarters. We cannot stand before the Iroquois. They are too powerful for us to fight. The Sioux are truly a mighty empire. These Aztecs are too strong. We will fall beneath their onslaught. The Iroquois are a mighty opponent. Too mighty for us to defeat, I'm afraid. How could the Sioux be so powerful? We are losing. The Aztecs are weak and can be defeated if we attack them together. But even then, I'm afraid we will lose this war. Together, we can destroy the Iroquois. But I'm afraid the war as a whole is not ours to win. Why don't we just team up against the Sioux? It is clear we will not be winning this war anyway. You go down with the ship, I will escape with the women and children. Which Mediterranean island will you retire to once the swine have been conquered? The new heavy artillery are miracles of modern science. You should give them a shot. For centuries, cavalry have led the charges of battle. Where did your horses run off to? Even the most degraded commoner knows wars cannot be won without infantry. It would be foolish to fight under these conditions. Let us save our strength for another fight. This will be a battle the poets will tell of for many years. My fears have been made whole. The heathen have bested us. They won. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. Now that our foes have been eradicated, we can move on to more important political matters. 
As I suspected, the enemy forces are broken. That was a close one. Our alliance will prove certain victory. My strategist, predict a victory. Pretty sure I've got this one under control. Your reinforcements have arrived just in time. Look, those heretical warmongers have recruited help from their allies. Good thinking. All right, excellent idea. Artillery is just what we need. Very good. Artillery with cavalry support will certainly pave the road to our victory. A wise choice. Artillery and infantry are the backbone of any successful army. Right, I will bolster our forces with cavalry. When the enemy hears my storm of thundering hooves and crashing cannonballs, they will surely flee for their lives. Yes, I think that will work splendidly. Infantry and cavalry make a very strong combination. Well then, I shall flood the battlefields with legions of infantry. The enemy will surely be at the mercy of our crusading infantry and noble steeds. I regret to say my strained economy simply cannot bear such a burden. Unfortunately, I have spent too much money on wine, women, and song to afford that. Regretfully, I must decline. I wish I could, but I cannot. My army is non-existent, and there is nothing I can do. That is beyond God's will and simply impossible for me to do. Until I can recruit more troops, I am afraid I cannot help. Those blasted dogs have destroyed our monopoly. It seems we have nearly forced the British back to their puny island. The Dutch are nearly defeated. Perhaps we should send them some sympathy tulips. I cannot say I am sad to see the French go. Our alliance has proved stronger than the German nation. It looks as if we have defeated the insurgent Portuguese rebellion. Superb. Our alliance has outlasted the Russian hordes. The Spanish simply did not have the political foresight to last out this war. England is proving to be a formidable adversary. The Dutch are growing quite powerful. We must choose our actions carefully. The French frighten me with their mighty empire. The German Reich must be stopped before they become too dangerous. We have let the Portuguese dissenters build their empire unchecked. Now I fear they will wage a ruthless civil war. My political connections inform me that we should be wary of the Russians. How could we have let the Spanish forces grow to such proportions? Your nation's scientific progress is outstanding. I can only hope my nation will follow in your footsteps. Very, very impressive. I should be advancing shortly. The natives are restless. And what is worse, they are allied with the enemy. This could be bad. The enemy has recruited the natives for aid. You doing okay there, chief? Scientific progress is a glorious thing. Perhaps you should consider... aging up. I would feel much more secure about our alliance if you were edging up a bit faster. Excellent work, my friend. Now we must recruit an army. You're off to a great start. Keep at it. Savoring the flavor of the age would be dandy if we didn't have a war on our hands. Glad to see you made it to the colonial age. Thank you for rescuing my explorer. My explorer is thankful. Let me know if I can return the favor. Nice to see you've rescued my explorer. I'll put him back to exploring immediately. Rejoice! The monopoly has been broken. I have shown the natives the error of their ways. They will no longer help the enemy. I have freed the natives from the bondage of our enemy. I am pleased to inform you that I have sacked one of the enemy's towns. See the ashes floating up? That is all that remains of an enemy town. Count this as an economic victory for us. The enemy's trade route fell easily under my sword. Damnation! The natives must be using black magic. My attack has failed. Their forces were too much. Hopefully the next attack will swing in our favor. No doubt my attack failed because my troops bartered their guns at the trading post. My explorer is slain. No! I have lost my explorer. Cougars and bison and bears. Oh my. My explorer has been eaten by the wilderness. I have lost my troops, my economy and my will to fight. I am afraid I must be resigning soon. We put up a good fight, but it looks as if we should be resigning soon. 
don't you think? I could use some help here. Send what you can to help fight, please. To arms! To arms! My base is under siege. They have me surrounded. I will do what I can, but I'm greatly in need of your troops. Things are looking pretty grim over here. If you don't send some aid soon, I am done for. Please to make your alliance. I am sure we will make an excellent team. This will be a challenge. I hope we prevail. This may not be as challenging as before. Surely, we will be victorious. Last time we faced each other, you proved your merit in battle. I am glad to see we are allies this time. It seems we are allies again. This time I shall strive to pull my weight. I hope you prove to be a better ally than opponent. Not you again. This terrain looks mighty familiar, no? Last time we were disgraced in battle. Let's see to it we are the victors this time around. Ugh. My head still hurts from celebrating our last victory. The good news is I have my explorer back. The bad news is they charged me a hefty ransom. Huzzah! I have rescued my explorer. The enemy's troops must be drinking at the tavern. Now is the time to strike their main base. The enemy has no barracks. If you were to send in some cavalry, they couldn't even muster a single pikeman. Look what I found. A stable-less town. Artillery would be perfect right now. Don't spend this all on ale. Put this money to good use. Eat to live. And not live to eat. Your settlers look mighty thin. Perhaps they could use some food. Use this timber to your advantage. The slumber should help strengthen your town's infrastructure. I shall send my soldiers to the enemy front. I am going to attack the enemy base now. If the enemy has any unprotected gatherers, I will hunt them down. As we speak, my troops are readying themselves to strike at the heart of the enemy's base. My troops are preparing to ravage the enemy's main base. I will take care of these pesky natives. I will deprive the enemy of his liquor by destroying this trade site. I am coming to your aid. My troops are on the way. I will be right there. I'm going to set up military operations in this area. This will be the site of my next town. I think I shall christen it with your name. I have decided to build my next town center approximately right here. For only a few beads, these natives will gladly aid us in our war. I have decided it's time to get the locals involved in our fight. A trade post here will ensure plenty of wine to give our soldiers spirit. And just to let you know, I'll be building a trading post here. On my mother's honor, this building shall not fall. This location is essential to our success. I shall defend it. The enemy is trying to oppress our natives. They must be protected. We shall make a stand in this town. They are trying to take our source of imported wine. We must defend this trading post. My coffers are overflowing with wealth. I happily share it with you. Give a man a fish, and he will eat for a day. Give a man a boatload of fish, and he will eat for a damn long time. Shiver me timbers. I will give you more wood. Keep up the fighting. I am on my way. My forces are en route. Hold the line. Reinforcements are on the way. So, drink any good ale lately? You must be one of the strong silent types. Checking your email? Alms for the poor? My friend, I am in need of some coin. Could you spare a few coins for a loyal ally? There are starving children in my land. Can you provide some food? My soldiers have been reduced to eating their shoes. Do you have any food you could send my way? My lumberjacks have gone on strike. Would you give me wood? If you could spare some wood, I would be a very happy ally. Your reinforcements surely turned the tide of battle. Many thanks. Now we can continue forward. Your troops have saved the day. Our offensive movement presses on. An offensive victory, all thanks to your soldiers. Thanks for the coin. I am off to the tavern now. The children shall eat, thanks to your generosity. My base still stands because of your help. I will erect a statue here in your honor. Thank you for helping fend off the invaders. Many thanks are in order for your reinforcements at my base. 
Your tribute is greatly appreciated. Ah, so much wood to build new buildings with. Thank you, my friend. We are crumbling under the might of the British Empire. The Dutch will be our undoing. It seems the French forces will overtake us soon. I fear we shall fall to the rebel Portuguese forces. It looks as if our towns will be waving Russian flags soon. These Spanish conquistadors have won the day. Perhaps if we attack the British, we can turn this war around. Their alliance is proving to be stronger than expected. However, my spies inform me the Dutch are the weakest. Let us strike them. We may have lost the war, but I believe we can still win a battle versus the French. Let us take down the Germans before our empire falls. The Germans can at least be taken out of this fight by immediate action on our part. It may prove impossible for us to defeat the enemy entirely, but I believe we can crush the rebel Portuguese forces. Our future is dim, my friend, but not all is lost. Russia is vulnerable to attack. This war has not been favorable for us. Maybe if we hit the Spanish, we can turn things around. It seems my long hours at the taverns have caused our defeat. Wish I could have been more helpful. My apologies. This is all your fault. Alas, this will always be remembered as the war you lost for us. The war seems to be going well. Keep up the good work. Good fortune smiles upon us. The war is in our favor. Your bravery has shown in battle. I am indebted to your strength. Because of you, we may indeed be victorious. Ha! We have the upper hand, despite your blunderings. Go make me a sandwich. While I'm off winning the campaign, you're off looking at all the pretty graphics. Let us make the best of this and resign before we are utterly destroyed. Well, there is nothing left we can do to win. Let us resign and be done with it. Look on the bright side. They may die of the plague. The enemy has reached a monopoly. Let us make plans to destroy it as soon as possible. Figures. The enemy is recruiting the locals to help them. It looks as if the enemy is trying to get a leg up on us economically. The enemy has more native sites than us now. Ah! Be warned. The enemy is trying to outdo us economically. Look, they have more trade sites than us now. Hooray! We have the first trade site. Well done. I can see I have made a wise alliance. Quite the skills you got there. The first nugget. Surely an omen of good fortune. Excellent! You truly are the master of getting booty. Good work on collecting treasures, my friend. Nothing like a full treasure chest, eh? You shall eat well tonight, my friend. Your plundering skills are amazing. Do you happen to have a treasure map by chance? You should at least say thank you for that one. Natives to the rescue! Good work! A gainful boon to your economy. A bundle of extra wood should definitely come in handy. Thanks to you, we now hold more native sites. Good work. We now control more trade sites than they do. Perhaps those resources would be better spent on troops. Ah, playing defensive, are we? Well, then I expect you to come wallow on my base too. I have struck a deal with the natives. They now fight for us. I am now the proud owner of the first trading post. Behold, what wondrous treasures this new world contains. More treasure for us now, and less treasure for our enemies to pick up later. Marvelous! What they find! There is nothing like the sound of coins filling my coffers. My, my. A feast for kings I just discovered. I found this treasure lying around your base. Don't worry, though. I will repay the favor soon enough. I love exploring and discovering treasure, but it is important you do so as well. I hope you're not expecting me to collect all the treasure. Great! We now have native warriors among our ranks. The more settlers I rescue, the more resources I'll have to contribute to our effort. I found some wood to boost the construction of future buildings. I have convinced more natives to help us in our cause. I have constructed another trade site for us. 
This will directly contribute to our resource funds. By building walls around my base, I hope to keep the enemy out. Your forces, of course, are welcome inside. These sturdy walls should serve as an excellent fallback point in the event we need it. Our efforts have paid off. We now control a monopoly. Now, let us defend it. Welcome back to the battlefield, sir. I trust your time away was productive. Nice to see you again. I can tell your skills as a leader have grown. Great to have you back. I have heard tales of your conquests around the globe. Unfortunately, their monopoly will be our downfall. Congratulations. Our monopoly has surely been the cause of our triumph. This shall be a battle for the history books, and I shall be recorded as the victor. Shall I go ahead and declare myself the victor now, or are you actually going to fight? You realize you stand no chance of winning. Any last requests before I rip your army asunder? I bet you wish your allies were as helpful as mine. I had you, if not for your allies' support. I had you. Your speed is impressive, but your strength may be lacking. Fancy technology will mean little when my army plunders your town. Trying to oppress the locals will not win you the war. Destroying the local culture is reprehensible. Why don't you strike at me instead? You have raised my town center, you filthy swine. Cutting off my trade routes will not save you from the wrath of my army. Technological advancements are marvelous things. You should try them sometime. I feel so sorry for your poor technological advancements. I'm almost tempted to send you some resources. Ha. Huh. Almost. I will tell them to put first to reach colonial age on your tombstone. How is it the saying goes? Last to colonial age, first to die? Your town is so far from your allies. They won't be able to hear your screams as your town is being burned to cinders. Cowards of a feather flock together. I suppose that's why you and your ally built next to each other. Nice try. Try again. <laughs> I have freed the natives from your oppression. I shall keep the rubble from your town as a souvenir of my conquests. I have destroyed your trading post. What are you going to do? It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Of course, it will be even more of a pleasure to destroy you. How is it again they say, prepare to die in your native tongue? Always a pleasure to meet new opponents to conquer. It's always nice to challenge ourselves, isn't it? Perhaps you can defeat me if I don't try as hard. This all seems so familiar to me. Perhaps you stand a greater chance of winning now that you have strategically reduced your enemies. You are arrogant to assume you can conquer me with my new alliances. Behold, my explorer walks again. You should not be so obvious. I have discovered your explorer. Your explorer isn't the stealthiest character, is he? If your army is in need of guidance, you can gladly send them to fight for me. Are you going to attack me? Or were you just out for a stroll? Sending your soldiers into the jaws of the beast? You are either very brave or very, very foolish. Did I give you permission to kill my villagers? Prepare to die. Killing my defenseless settlers, I see? Do not think I'll have mercy on your women and children now. Your army is huge. I'm afraid of the number of graves I'll have to dig for them. Your ragtag band of brigands do not scare me. All right, we'll call it a draw. You call that an army? I see your town. It will look beautiful once my banner is flying over it. Aha! I have found your town center. You might as well resign now. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Let the onslaught begin! Have no mercy and offer no quarter. Attack! Attack! Charge! Cut them down and let them drown in their own blood. Charge! I have not seen any activity from you in a while. Perhaps you have taken up gardening. Why don't you use this downtime to go fetch me some wine? 
Ah, you are turning out to be quite the boring adversary. Clearly, I underestimated you. So, I must resign. Somehow, you outwitted me. Now, I am forced to surrender. Good. I was hoping you would offer a challenge at some point. Capitalizing on what I started, I see. While you are busy constructing more threat sites, I make plans for your demise. Congratulations, you have found the first treasure. You can resign now. You were the first to find some treasure, and you will be the first to die. Coincidence? I think not. Hand that over, by order of the Portuguese Royal Empire. Enjoy your plunder while you can. Just imagine, they'll print my face on your coins soon enough. Glad to see you have found some food. You were looking awfully frail. You have captured much treasure so far. Hmm, well, I guess we all have our talents. You took my treasure, you rabid dog, you. Why must you bring more innocents to die for your cause? I suppose you'll need some way of replacing the ones I kill. I suggest you build a ship with that and sail far, far away. Building walls, I see. I'd be afraid of me too. Walls will not stop the might of my army. They will rip them down like saplings trampled by a stampede of bulls. No doubt you are trembling in fear to know I have recruited the locals to join my cause. All the more for me. Oh-ho! Uh -huh. Look what I have found. One more treasure closer to victory. Oh, shiny. Now my settlers will grow strong with this bounty. While you were off picking flowers, I discovered this treasure just outside of your base. In case you forgot, collecting treasure is a good thing. It's always nice to know the natives are supportive of my efforts. Imagine how much more productive my economy will be now. I have discovered some lumber just now. What have you done lately? Resorting to hiring the natives, I see. Typical. Do not think that that trade side alone will win you the game. Four of a kind might be a sure win in poker, but not in this game. Well, one way or another, we shall be victorious. Your doom is on the horizon. Been letting your kid sister play lately? So, which cheat codes have you been using? Many games, many follies, I assume. Where are you? We must go faster. Do not stop. We are almost there. The time is short, but do not get too excited. You are close, but you are not there yet. Gloat now, dog. Your time in the new world will not be long. Don't worry about the clock. It will be over soon enough. Look at the time. You do not have long to wait. Kneel before Isabella. What happened to you? Now we must start again. How dare you? How does it feel to be on the receiving end? That is what you get for challenging the Spanish. A bold attempt. But you see my power. The enemy has a trade monopoly. Wake up your men and put them to work. They have a trade monopoly. Take down a trading post or you'll taste my lash. The dogs have created a monopoly. We must take it down quickly. The timer has started. We must stay alert. We have a trade monopoly, pet. Can I trust you to watch my back? Be wary, pet. The timer has started and our enemies are everywhere. Ah. So the snake rears its ugly head. You think a trade monopoly will save you from the might of the Spanish? A trade monopoly? Do you think I will take this lying down? Now you see the cunning of the Spanish. Lie back, dog. It will all be over soon. How do you like that? It would seem your strategy has failed you. These Aztecs are strong. But not strong enough. It is time we drove these Iroquois back to their homelands. The Sioux are on the run. All that remains is to wipe out the survivors. These Aztecs fight with the strength of many. The Iroquois have more fight than I expected. Where do the Sioux get such strength? These Aztecs are too powerful. We are losing quickly. The Iroquois are too strong. 
I fear we may lose. Where are you, pet? These Sioux are overpowering me. We must not lose to these weaklings. Pull yourself together. How can these Indians be winning? We need to do better. These Sioux are not as strong as they appear. We need to try harder, pet. We must take out their trading post now. Where is your army? We must stop the counter. Stand firm, pet. Victory is nearly ours. Keep our trading post alive and we shall have our victory. Where is your artillery, pet? Some artillery would teach these dogs a very dear lesson indeed. You would do better if you had some cavalry backing up that army. I see men, but no horses. Do you think that wise? Your ranks are thin. Some infantry would be a wise investment. A balanced army requires infantry. You should add some quickly. That battle is folly. Rally your men elsewhere. You are outgunned, pet. Pull back to safety. Madness. You send your men to death. Only your enemies and scavengers will benefit from that fight. I suggest a fast retreat. Such reckless fighting will only lead to defeat. Save your men for another battle. Such a display of strength. The battlefield grows crowded. Your inexperience as a commander is obvious. Whoever put you in charge should have his head examined. You won't last long if that is the best you have to offer. Your attempts at combat are amusing, but it is the Spanish who are victorious. I have underestimated you. I will be more careful in the future. Such skill. It is enough to make a girl cry. Your troops are strong. I will not make that mistake again. How could this have happened? You will pay for this outrage. It would seem my troops will need more encouragement after this turn of events. I don't want to gloat, but this was too easy. See how the dogs fall before my armies. At this rate, victory will soon be ours. I shall never grow tired of such easy victories. All of our foes will soon wear the mark of my boot heel, like these do now. See how the cowards fall before my soldiers. Even my weakest armies can defeat our foes. Who would have thought our enemies would roll over and die so willingly? Do you see the strength of the Spanish? We are unstoppable. Their armies are no match for even my weakest men. Don't worry about me. I can easily defeat these dogs. Fear not, pet. I have this battle under control. Don't trouble your head about this rabble. I will take care of it. Since I'm doing all the fighting here, maybe you can engage the enemy somewhere else. This battle won't last long, since I have the advantage. Your help is not needed here. I will crush the barbarians in moments. Your timing is perfect. Onward to victory. Thanks for your help, pet. Now let's crush these dogs. The enemies multiply before my very eyes. How could this have happened? Where did this second foe come from? They will turn the tide of battle. Of course, pet. Don't think twice about it. So demanding. But, all right. I concur. All right. But you owe me. Yes, artillery will surely ruin their day. My subjects will start on that artillery right away. Of course, artillery. You are so clever. Yes, some artillery surrounded by cavalry would be splendid. You are so smart, pet. I will start right away on the artillery and infantry. Some big, strong horsemen will certainly impress the enemy. Mighty cavalry from Spain will crush the enemy forces. Such powerful beasts manned by fine Spanish soldiers will soon take the field. I have heard your request and concur. I will build cavalry and artillery. I am in a good mood. I will build the cavalry and infantry you have asked for. I have sent for the finest warriors Spain has to offer. They shall join us soon. Yes, I need more men. A larger force of men is just what I need. Oh, fine. Infantry and artillery are on their way. You are a brazen thing. But your request for infantry and cavalry is fair. I would love to, pet, but I have many things that need my attention. The resources of Spain are not infinite. Be patient. You are so demanding. But your request must wait. No one may command my men but me. Watch yourself, pet. Only I may speak to my general so. Impossible. You ask too much of me. It pains me to tell you that I do not have the manpower for that. Be patient. I do not have the troops to do that. 
I would help you if I had the troops, but I have none. You ask too much. I cannot do such a thing. Leave me. You ask the impossible. I do not have the manpower to help you right now. If I had more troops, I would gladly help you. Your moves are bold, but I have not the army to help. They have broken our hold. We should look closer at our strategy. The trading post is destroyed. How dare they do that to me? It would appear the island dwellers are almost defeated. The Dutch are close to defeat. Keep up the pressure, pet. The Dutch will soon fall. The French have almost fallen to our combined might. The Germans are no match for us. Do not stop. The Ottomans are in retreat. The cowards. Kneel before Isabella. Stay on them. The Russian dogs will lick my boot heels yet. There is room in Spain for only one crown. Destroy the Spanish traitors. Hiding across the channel has made the British strong. The Dutch are strong. We must be cautious. Where have the French gained such strength? Beware the Germans. They seem particularly strong. Could the Ottomans really be this strong? The Portuguese have made great strides. Their army is powerful. The Russians are a stubborn lot. We will have to redouble our efforts against them. It is no surprise that the Spanish are strong. We must be careful. You are so strong, pet. But be careful where you spend your resources. You have advanced so quickly. I hope it was not too fast. Is it really so important for you to be above me? The enemy allies with natives. We should be careful. They have found native help. Keep an eye out for attacks. Our foes consort with the natives. Be wary of attacks. You lag behind, pet. Have you forgotten to go colonial? I hope your strategy includes aging up to colonial soon. If you don't at least go colonial soon, our enemies will have the advantage. Why do you lag behind? It is nice to have you behind me, but our foes will win if you stay there. Why are you so slow to age up? Our enemies will have an advantage if you don't advance. So fast. But leave some resources for other things. You are quick, pet. But will you be able to support your colony? Finally, I was beginning to think you would never join the rest of us. If you are so slow at everything, we will never triumph. Such a bold rescue. You have my nation's gratitude. Saved at last. You are so brave and so helpful. Ah, my explorer lives. Your kindness is unequaled. I will not tolerate such sneaky maneuvers. Such underhanded methods will not go unpunished. Such obvious tactics only make me sad. The natives are free of our enemy's subversion. I have removed the yoke of our foes from these people. I have removed our enemy's corruption from these native peoples. The enemy town lies in ashes beneath my boots. How glorious to see the ruins of our enemy's buildings. All our enemies will fall, as this town did. The enemy will not exploit this trade route any more. This trading post fell easily. Why wasn't it more heavily guarded? And that, pet, is how you destroy a trading post. The natives here are strong. I must be more careful. Where were you? I could have used your help. This town was well defended. We need to bring more troops next time. I could have used some more help attacking this town. The trade site still stands. We need to focus more power there. This post was too well guarded. I have better things to do anyway. My explorer is too hasty. He will get a spanking when he returns. Why does he run into trouble like that? I will not be able to gather nuggets until he revives. My explorer is down. Be a deer and go find him. The dangers of the new world are many, as my explorer has found out. My explorer has succumbed to the environment. The wilds have claimed another son of Spain. The enemy is too strong. We should bow out gracefully. I cannot keep throwing resources at this folly. I am ready to resign. You fought bravely, pet. But we are done. I grow weary of events in the New World. We should stop. I knew coming here was a bad idea. I want to recall my people. Your strength is needed here. Send troops here, pet. I have run into the enemy. Send an army here. 
I cannot handle so many men. Send help now. The enemy has swarmed into my town. I need help. Send help, pet. I don't have the army to repel this attack. I hope you are stronger than my last ally. Greetings, pet. It is a pleasure to have you at my side. Together, we will soon have the enemy begging for mercy. You are brave to try again at a higher difficulty. I hope your brazen jump in difficulty does not end in disappointment. Are you sure this jump in difficulty was not a mistake? I see you are taking it a little easier this time. That is probably best. Did the higher difficulty not agree with you? It is probably best for you to stay here a while before you try to move up again. It will be nice not to be on the receiving end of your assault this time. Your score was most impressive last time. I will do my best to keep up. Did you like the taste of my boot? I will try not to be so rough this time. You need to keep up, pet. Try to get your score up higher this time. Do you remember the time we spent here together the last time? You need to do better this game if you want to keep from making me cry. Your performance last time was less than impressive. Do better this time. You had an impressive game last time. I am looking forward to a repeat performance. I am glad you are here with me again. Since you are incapable of rescuing my explorer, I have sent his ransom. Curse my explorer's brashness. He has cost me dearly today. My explorer is back, but it cost me dearly. I have rescued my explorer. Our foes can choke on their ransom demands. My explorer is back, now that I have rescued him. Since you have waited so long, I have rescued my explorer myself. I have grown tired waiting for you, and have rescued my explorer myself. Where is their army? Is our foe so foolish as to leave his town undefended? Look, pet, our enemy has left this tasty morsel undefended. This town is ripe for the picking, with no barracks to defend it. A town without a barracks is like an explorer without my jewels. It's not going to get very far. This town has no stable. Send in the artillery. This coin should help you with the cause. I hope this coin helps to sustain you. You need food to keep your stamina. Take this food to keep your men strong. Spanish wood built the armada. Use this to power our victory. This wood will keep your forces strong. There is no substitute for Spanish wood. Our foes will soon taste Spanish steel. My forces are moving forward to attack our enemy's base. This base will feel the stamp of my boot heel. These gatherers will rue the day their country took on the Spanish. The fools have left these people to die at my hand. No quarter shall be given to any enemy of the Spanish. My forces are moving to take the main enemy town. The sons of Spain will soon be masters of this town. Come, bask in my glory as we dismantle this town. These natives will soon be free of their captors. It is time to let these people know how they are being deceived. Let us remove the blindfold put on these natives by our enemies. Our enemies get too much from this trade site. This trade site has profited our foes for too long. Stand firm, pet. The sons of Spain are on their way to join you. You are so bold to attack there. I will send you help. Brilliant. I will join you soon. I need more men. A base will be perfect here. Careful, pet. I am putting a military base here. I will put a base here. Would you care to join me? As Spain prospers, I will need more room. This is a perfect spot for a town center. The riches of Spain will allow me to put another town center here. I will build another town center here, to the glory of Spain. I am going to seek help from these native peoples. These natives will make a powerful ally. With the help of these people, we will be unstoppable. I will ask these people for help in defeating our common foe. This trade site will help to fuel our victory. Watch my back while I build a trade site here. The dogs will not get their teeth into this building. I will defend this building, pet. My forces will hold this spot to their dying breath. The enemy will not get past me here. 
This village is mine. I won't let them take it away. These people need my help. I will defend them. The enemy draws near. I will need to defend this town. The dogs will not take this town from the Spanish. I will be defending this trade site, pet. I will defend here at this trade site. Watch your coffers. I will keep sending coin. Did you enjoy that? I will send more soon. More food will be arriving when I am able to send it. Fear not, pet. More food is on the way. There is more wood where that came from. Did that wood make you smile? You will get another surprise soon. Stand fast. Help is on the way. My men are on the way to your location. The dogs will pay for attacking you here when my troops arrive. Tell me you love me. Such quiet. Are you mad at me? Playing the strong, silent type? Be a dear and send me some coin. Some coin would really help our cause right now. Send me some coin, and I will make it worth your while. Some food would be appreciated. Do you have any food to feed the sons of Spain? The Spanish Empire needs food to fight the enemy. I could really use some wood. Do you have some wood for me? I seem to really be burning through the wood. Can you give me some? Your help is appreciated. Now let's move our forces forward. That went so much better after you joined in. Our combined offensive force cannot be stopped. Your gift of coin is most appreciated. You are so good to me. This food will go far. The Spanish people thank you for your generosity. Your help was most generous. I must think of some way to thank you. Your men arrived in the nick of time. I am overflowing. You are too generous. Are you trying to impress me with your mighty economy? Your gift of wood was generous. So much wood. You are too kind. These island dwellers are powerful. We are in trouble. Curse the British. They are a powerful foe. The Dutch are so powerful. Is there nothing we can do to stop them? The cursed French are winning this day. These Ottomans are worthy foes. I have underestimated them. The Portuguese dogs. Where did they learn to fight so well? The Russians are overpowering us with numbers. It is no surprise the Spanish are strong, but they should be fighting for me. How can these weak British be doing so well? Despite the weakness of the Dutch, we are losing. How can this be? The French dogs are weak, but we are still losing. Despite Germany's weakness, we are being routed. How do we expect to win when we can't even handle a weak Portuguese force? The Russians fall before our forces, but we still can't push the advantage. This renegade group of Spanish is no match for the crown, but I fear we have lost. I have let you down. You are so strong, but my forces are falling too quickly. I had hoped you would be strong for me. You disappoint me, and we will both suffer for it. The enemy is in disarray. We make a good team. We should press our advantage while we are ahead. You are so strong. It would seem I have chosen a strong ally. You will need to do better if you want to keep up with me. War is not for the weak. You must work harder to keep favor with the Spanish. We are done. Spain has nothing left for this game. I am spent. We have lost the day. Did you not hear me? We are defeated. Your intent to fight on is noble, but it will get you not. Your insistence on continuing this fight is folly. I will not add to your body count. You waste resources on this lost cause. When will you see the truth? Those rascals have gathered four trading posts. We must act quickly. We must hurry, or they will attain a four-of-a-kind victory. Our enemies extend their influence over the natives. The natives have fallen victim to our enemy's influence. Our foes have set up a trade site. The enemy has a trade site. We should be careful they do not get more. The enemy continues to gather natives. Are we going to let them get away with that? They continue to dominate the local natives. We should do something to lift their oppression. They have another trade site. We should crush them. They continue to pursue trade sites. Be careful they don't get any more. You are so smart to keep the enemy from oppressing these people. Good thinking. We can use the help of the natives. Nice work. 
That trade site will come in handy. Brilliant. You are smart to get a trade site before anyone else. So fast. You are a quick one. You don't wait for anything, do you? Nothing stands in your way, does it? Your explorer is quite bold. That coin will certainly come in handy. A girl could really get behind an ally with so much coin. That will satisfy many appetites. Just seeing that food makes me ravenous. Do you do everything so quickly? Your proficiency is impressive. You are very forward to be nosing around here. What? Don't you get enough over in your own area? I will thank you to keep your hands off my treasures. You can use that native to scout. Ask that native to scout the surrounding wilderness. Liberated settlers are hard workers. Free the people and they will gladly work for you. There is wood everywhere in this new world. You are lucky to find extra wood. Ah, we have more allies now. You are wise to gain more favor with the natives. Another trade site. You are bold, pet. We have the trade advantage now. I hope those walls will keep our foes out. Walls! A wise choice to make. I have been able to gain favor with the local natives. We have the native advantage now. This trade site was too good to pass up. How can we lose when I have gained the first trade site? There is no stopping me once I get started. See this treasure just waiting for me to find it. This treasure will look beautiful in the Prado. A girl could buy a lot with coin like this. If you are nice, some of this could be yours. Mmm, yummy food. This will go far to nourish the sons of Spain. You are so slow. I will take this one. Don't be mad at me, pet. Where is your explorer? Why is he not collecting treasures? Your explorer is lazy. He should be collecting treasures. Look at the men. This was a good treasure. See how the warriors flock to me. Are you jealous? The more people I find, the stronger my economy becomes. These poor souls will gladly work for a kind savior like me. Look at the wood. This wood will go far to build my colony. I have put us ahead in natives. We have gained the advantage in natives again. My trade site has put us ahead. We may have been tied for some time, but now we are ahead again. These walls will not keep you out, pet. The enemy will find a surprise when he runs into these walls. We need to hold on to these trading posts. Be ready for an immediate attack. The enemy will surely be looking to attack our trading posts now. What has happened, pet? You used to be much stronger. I see life in the colonies has not agreed with you. You have grown so strong since the last time we played. I like to think it was me that made you so powerful. You have been busy, pet. Where did you get all of that experience? You are certainly a lot more experienced than I remember. You are a beast sneaking around and collecting trade posts this way. I cannot lose this way. You had better hope those trading posts are well defended. <laughs> there is nothing you can do to stop us now. We are winning. You have nothing. I see you like it rough. Why is it I always seem to get double teamed? Your soldier's blood is on your hands. You send your men into certain death. See how we work as a team? You will face this all day. There is nothing I can't do with my ally behind me. You are lucky your ally has saved you this time. So mean of you to gang up on poor me. You would be wiser to spend your resources on smarter things. Such free spending is not going to impress me. You cannot be so far ahead of me. You are spending most foolishly. The natives will not be fooled by your lies for long. Those natives will see you for what you are one day. You are lucky those men have chosen to ally with you. How dare you! These natives are my friends. You will regret that. Why are you picking on me? 
Leave my town alone. You weren't invited into my town. Go away. That trade site was mine. Why do you destroy my things? Ah, I will have that trade site back up in no time. Why do you languish in backwards times? You are so slow. You will never catch up to me now. I am so far ahead of you. You will never catch up. My forces are far superior to yours. Your advanced technology will make a splendid prize when my armies roll through your town. You may be first to age up, but you will be last when the score is tallied. First to age up is first to die. You had better get some troops out quickly, now that you have joined the rest of us in the modern world. Oh, you are alive. I was going to check for a pulse. Finally, I would be sad if my troops had no one to fight. Does your ally dislike you so much that he makes you build so far away from him? It must be very lonely for you to be so far away from your friends. I will send some men to keep you company. It was nice of you to save my troops from a long walk as they move from town to town. You will know my cannon are near when you hear them knocking down your ally's town. Are you really so scared that you need to stay so close to your ally? Ha! So much for your sneaky tactics. Did you not think I would be aware of your tactics? Those people are now free of your tyranny. You have no hold on these people now. That felt so good. I hope you felt that to your core. It will be a long time before you feel the gain from that trade site again. I hope that you didn't need that trade site too much. You seem to be a reasonable person. Would you care to give up now? Surrender now and you will save yourself a lot of pain. Do you think it wise to attempt a more difficult setting this time? No matter. I will crush you regardless. I am disappointed that you are not the player I thought you were. It would seem that we were destined to meet here again. It won't matter how easy you try to make things on yourself. I will still see you beneath the heel of my boot. You are so brave to take on more enemies. But that will only increase your pain. Choke on your ransom, you dogs. I am sad that you must resort to kidnapping to finance your petty colony. Hello there, little man. Are you looking for treasure? Be careful out in the wilds, pet. There are many dangers waiting for you. This is the best army you can muster. And where are they going? It would appear your men have abandoned their leader and are looking to slink away like the dogs they are. I would love to get to know your men better, but I won't have time before they are annihilated. Oh, look, are these some deserters of yours? Looking for a better life in Spain? I might have known I would find you attacking defenseless settlers. You can kill one or a hundred of us, but Spain will always triumph. You are no better than dogs attacking unarmed civilians like that. These soldiers will make excellent target practice for my army. I had no idea hunting season had opened. Stay there. My army is on its way. I see your army is guarding that strategic field. You call that an army? No wonder they cower in the fields. Is that all you have? Come back when you are bigger. That so-called army is hardly worthy of the name. Well... Isn't this an interesting turn of events? You may take my town, but you will never have my crown. Look at those lost lambs. I will give them a good home. What's this? More stragglers seeking comfort in the arms of Spain? There you are. It won't be long before Spanish flags wave from the windows. What a lovely spot. I think my cannon will go there. Hello. Don't get too comfortable in those buildings. You are so kind to let a lady go first. Your kindness will not go unpunished. Find your own treasures, dog. I hope you have saved some ammunition. You are going to need it. I hope that cake is ready. Because here I come. Is that silence the sound of your corpse? I have heard more noise coming from a morgue. Let me know when you have finished your snack. 
It was nice of you to let me get some beauty sleep. You play too rough. I would like to stop now. Please, let me leave here with some shred of dignity. I am done. You can stop now. You were lucky this time. Impressive. But you are only delaying the inevitable. An interesting strategy. But tricking the local natives will not help you. I see you like giving me lots of targets. Enjoy your spoils while you can, because that site will soon be in flames. So many wasted resources. You will be sad when I destroy that trade site. I hope you don't do everything so quickly. You are fast, but it takes more than speed to best me. This world holds many treasures for you, including the heel of my boot. Keep that treasure safe for me when I come to collect it from the smoking ashes of your town center. You should fight me instead of scurrying through the brush looking for trinkets. That coin will not buy you fame here in the New World. Strength is measured in power, not mere coin. You will need both to impress me. Enjoy that food now. You will soon be eating Spanish steel. That food will go well with the knives we have for your soldiers' bellies. An impressive display of baubles, but you should pay more attention to your colony. Your explorer should be careful wandering so far from home. Who is this? Be careful out there, little man. So far from home, it would be a shame if you met with some accident. Those natives can't help you if you are dead. It would be a shame if the natives learned of your true nature. Is there not a person in the colonies who does not wish they were born Spanish? You may send the settlers this way if you want them to live beyond today. You may want to use that wood to build coffins for your men. It won't be long before that wood is fueling your pyre. A wall? Is this to keep the enemy out or your soldiers in? No wall can protect you from the sting of Spanish steel. See how the locals flock to me. They will be your undoing. It would seem the natives have chosen to support the winning side. Such bounty will give me the advantage I need to crush you. Are you afraid to get your own trade site for fear I will destroy it? Look at this. More riches for the Spanish cause. The treasures practically jump at me. Are you jealous that such a fine treasure is mine? This coin will pay for many Spanish soldiers. Look at all of this coin. Do you need to borrow some? Wherever will I store all of this food? I may need to build another town center to store all of this food. Oh, look, you have forgotten one. I will take care of it. Is your explorer so blind as to miss things right under his very nose? You should go to the tavern and tell your explorer to get started soon. Was that your explorer I saw napping in a field? This new world holds many treasures. It is too bad that you do not. These natives have chosen to side with the victors. The natives here will enjoy victory when we crush you. Who wouldn't want to join a queen as lovely as I am? It is good that these people come work for me rather than dying in your town. This wood will make arrows to pierce your very heart. Should I use this wood to build or destroy? Those people will not help you in the long run. It would be a shame if someone were to come along and knock that post down. That is a cute trade site. I am going to enjoy watching it burn. Don't think that trade site will give you any advantage. An interesting tactic, but you should have worried about protecting your towns. What good is this when you have no army to protect them? Do you hear that? That is the clock ticking down on your defeat. Don't mind those posts. They are only going to win us the game. Whatever happened to you? I thought you used to be somebody. Don't worry. That happens to lots of people, I guess. I see you have come a long way. A long way to die. You have improved since the last time we met. 
but you will still taste my boot heel. You have gained much experience since I saw you last, but you have not learned how to win. That experience won't help you. In fact, it will only make my victory all the sweeter. <laughs>